Hello, my loves, and welcome to Create Your Life. My name is Simone Leah, and I am your host. And today I want to share with you my three top tips for effective marketing. These are the things that will help you grow your business like nothing else. These are the three most important things that you could possibly do. So number one is consistency. It is so important to be consistent. Number two is to have an engagement and growth strategy. A lot of people have a growth strategy. They don't necessarily have an engagement strategy, but to grow on social media with your marketing, there needs to be both of those aspects. And number three is knowing what to do with your content. Do you niche or do you not niche? So let's jump into these three powerful tips right now. So number one is consistency. This is absolutely the number one thing you need to do. There is nothing else that is as important as consistency. And this goes for podcast episodes, YouTube episodes, social media, pretty much everything in your life. You need to be consistent with what you're doing to see results. You can relate this to exercise and losing weight or trying to get to a certain fitness level. There still needs to be consistency there. And that same thing applies in business and in marketing. So consistency is key. To me, it's actually king. I always think consistency is king. So it doesn't really make too much of a difference when you're thinking about your social media strategy and your marketing and you're tossing up between whether to do three posts a week or four posts a week. Yes, obviously more posts are better. However, the best thing is consistency. So if you've decided you want to do seven posts a week, one a day, but you can't do that consistency long term, then that's not what you should be doing. You're better off having three amazing posts every single week and really nailing that and getting that really moving than having seven one week, zero the next week, two the next week, four the next week. Consistency is absolute king. It tells people where you are, what you're doing. You know, it tells people that they can rely on you. They can trust you because you show up when you say you will. You know, my podcast and YouTube episodes, they go out at the same time on the same days every single week. People know to expect that. And that builds trust in you. That builds authority in you because you're showing up when you say you will. And the same thing happens on social media. In fact, with the algorithms of social media, it's actually worse if you aren't showing up when you say you will. The, the algorithm can, tends to kind of see you as unreliable and not professional as a business, and it will stop directing traffic in your direction. So whatever you're going to do with your marketing and your social media, keep it consistent, guys. Keep it consistent. Three posts a week, as I said, will do a lot more than sporadic inconsistent posts. So whatever strategy you employ with your marketing, just keep it consistent. You know, create a spreadsheet if that works for you or a Trello board or whatever works for you and plan out your content so that you can do your consistent amount of content every week. If you have a lot of time and a lot of ideas, do lots of content, you know, that will be great, but try and keep that same schedule for a minimum of three months. Don't go chopping and changing your schedule every three weeks, every, every two days, every whatever. Try and keep it really consistent, you know, and especially with your things that are more going to be seen forever, okay? So things like podcasts, YouTube channels, and your actual posts that are going to be staying on social media, stories, things like that. You can be a bit less consistent with that. You can kind of have a lot one day, a lot less the next day, and it doesn't tend to make as much of a difference. Obviously, again, more is better, but you know, being consistent with your content that people are going to see for a while that really affects the algorithm, that's what you need to be doing. Now, the next thing with social media and marketing is knowing that there is growth and engagement. So growth strategy is obviously the content you're putting out there, how often you're putting out there, what you're putting out there, that's what's gonna help you grow. But there is a second part to social media that a lot of people miss and that's engagement. That's engaging with your audience. That's spending time responding to people's messages, liking other people's posts, connecting, you know, engagement is connecting, engage with the people you're following. I'd say it's equally as important as your growth strategy and what you're actually posting, you know. There's a really simple strategy that a lot of people have done for a lot of time and it still works to grow accounts now, you know, and it's just literally by going on and using hashtags and liking and following people's posts that are in your target audience and commenting on posts that you like, you know, spend some time, half an hour a day, 
actually working on the engagement for your business, for your brand. Just, I know that sounds like a lot, but just get out there and start connecting with your ideal audience. That's what engagement is, connecting with your ideal audience. Now, this is something that can be outsourced later on down the track if you're too busy and don't want to spend all day on social media. But think of it as something that is for business. That half an hour, don't go on tangents. Don't go start looking at funny cat videos. Really connect in with what you're doing for that half an hour and really make the most out of engaging with your ideal audience for that half an hour. Now, there are lots of ways that you can do this. There are lots of ways you can do engagement strategies. So I won't go too much into that here. I just want you guys to know that it is something that you can do and should be doing because it is so, so important. So definitely go and do that. I will at some point share more about this so that you guys can jump in and start doing that. But basically what I would do is with your hashtags that you have for your business, literally every day, go on for 15 minutes and just use one of those hashtags and for four or five minutes, go through and like and comment on other people who use that same hashtag. Go and comment on their posts that you like. Go and connect with them. Go and put love hearts on their posts that you actually like, you know, connect with your target audience. Do that for four or five minutes. Then get another hashtag that's your ideal audience and do the same thing and do that three to five times. You know, there's a strategy around doing that for 10 hashtags a day and that will really help you grow, you know, doing that, writing 10 comments on 10 different hashtags a day will really help you to expand and grow. But to get started, just do three hashtags and four, four or five minutes, you know, really just connect in and can, yeah, connect, engage with your audience, engage with the people who are doing what you want to do, engage with the people who are your ideal audience, engage with the content you like, really just start connecting. That's, that's such an important part of social media. It's what it's designed for. It's designing for connecting and building communities. And the last thing I wanted to say with marketing, my top tip is knowing what you're doing in terms of whether you're niching or not niching, knowing what your content needs to look like, knowing what your brand needs to look like, knowing what your end result is. Because if you're creating your content around your brand, your content is going to be a lot better. And knowing whether or not you want a niche or not niche is super important. Now, here's my advice with this. Your long form content that's going to be staying on your feeds, you know, your Facebook content, your Instagram feed content, the stuff that's going to be staying around for a while, your YouTube channel, your podcast, keep that really niched for your ideal client so that your ideal client can easily see what you're about. Keep it really niched. But with things like shorts and TikToks and things like that, go as broad as you like, share whatever you want to, let people know who you are, really connect with your audience, do the things you love, you know, share your actual life, you know, be as broad as you want to in that sort of content. But with your content that's going to hang around a lot longer, keep it targeted to the people you want to target to. Now, not everyone's going to give you the same advice. Some other people might say, just talk about whatever you want. Someone like Gary Vee, for example, he will tell you that you are your niche and to post whatever you like. And I totally 100% agree with that as well in the way that I think that you should do what works for you. Now, I know what works for me is having it really easy for my ideal clients to see who I am and what I want in the content that they find easily. So YouTube podcasts and Facebook and Instagram, my feeds, that sort of thing. I want my target audience to know exactly what I do and who I am. But in that content that's going to be there for a little bit less time, that short form content, the TikToks, that sort of stuff, I want everybody to be able to find me and connect with me. And I want everybody to be able to go, oh, she's really cool. You know, I like her. What else does she do? And then when they go and see what else I do, I want them to be like, oh, this is what she does and know who I am. So that's why for me, I tend to keep my longer content, my longer life content. I keep that a little bit more niched and a little bit more directed at my target audience. Whereas the other content, I keep that broad so that I can bring new people in who are like, oh, I like dancing. She likes dancing. Let's see what else she does, you know, and they can connect with you that way and they can find you that way. And then they can know whether or not they want to follow you based on your feed. So that is how I run my social media. It's how I keep my marketing going is with those concepts in mind. That's what keeps me happy. It's what keeps me vibrant. It's what keeps my business moving forward. It's how I create content, you know, with the end results in mind on the longer stuff. 
And so I really hope this video helps you guys today. I really hope you've liked these three tips, which is one, being consistent, two, having a growth and engagement strategy, and three, knowing whether or not you're niching or not niching and what content to niche or not niche on. These three things are going to explode your marketing. These are the main things that I would really be keeping track of and doing, guys. These are super important. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment below. Share this video if it's helped you. And I cannot wait to connect with you guys again soon.